Welcome back everyone, welcome back to Let's Play New Vegas. Um, well, that's a nice sight, we're greeted by a naked guy. <laughs> um, yeah, we've just uh, protected the town and Ringo from the powder gangers, so they're not going to be too happy about it. But uh, yeah, there were scum, so we don't really care about scum. So, let's see, what quests do we have? We'll just have to um, ignore all of these DLC ones. They went that away. Find the men who tried to kill you and inquire about your delivery assignment with the administrator of the Mojave Express in Prim. So we have to get to Prim. Prim is over there. That's where we will go. I'll just put... Uh, I'll, I'll, I, can I get a marker? Thank, thank you. I have to right click. Okay. Wait, is there anything else uh, I want to do here? Um, don't want anything from the general store. We've already uh, done the prospector saloon. I mean, we've uh, bartered. Uh, she doesn't have a lot of money. We could go into some of these houses, but it's not really, you know, that important. Especially because, um, well, as always in these RPGs, I have a huge problem that uh, <laughs> I take way too much with me and then can't... Uh, yeah, can't really carry it all. Yeah, this is a much nicer texture. Look at this. Speed limit. Everything is nice and crisp. Of course, unless you uh, plant your face against it. Oh, yeah, I've forgotten to um, reinstall that vegetation mod. So we'll have some of those weird things with the texture. Oh, well, it's not a huge problem. So, oh, he doesn't keep walking if you bring up the... Oh, that's kind of a shame. Oh, well. Yeah, but see, I've always enjoyed this. Um, Bethesda really does have a knack for creating 3D worlds like this. You know, open, open world. Um, I still remember spending so many hours with... Uh, what was it? Um, Morrowind. Then Oblivion, although, of course, Oblivion started with the horrible, horrible um, voice acting. Before you venture deeper into the wasteland, you may revise your character. Oh, that's nice. Um, let's see. Do we want to change anything? Blah, blah, blah. Oh. Is that it? Oh, there we go. Ah, crap! It just... Ah, no! No, it's... Uh... <laughs> right, let's see. Uh, let's do this properly. I want lots of intelligence, of course. Uh... Agility. I want lots of perception. Eight perception. Do I want that? Or do I want even less strength? The problem with that is... Um, strength also... You know, dictates how much you can carry. Well, I can take some from luck. And put it like this. I think that will be fine. Agility. You should probably put some into agility as well. Charisma, uh, yeah, I'm going to do it like this. I think that was my original choice, anyway. Energy weapons, lockpick, speech. I might actually put something out of lockpick. And put it into science. Hmm. No, I'm gonna leave it on lockpick, actually. There. Oh, yeah. Damn it. I have to do everything again. <laughs> Oh, uh, well, four eyes, and we said Wild Wasteland, because I've never actually tried this one. Wild Wasteland unleashes the most bizarre and silly elements of post-apocalyptic America, not for the faint of heart or the serious of temperament. Right, finished. Travel onward. Ooh, that's lots of XP. Level two, we know that. Who the hell is that? Oh, and we actually did level up. Okay. I thought... Welcome to level two. What? But I remember having... Hmm. Science 25. Lockpick. I'm gonna put it into speech. For now. Continue. Uh, and here we have Swift Learner. Yes. Is that a powder ganger? It might be. That is a cool sound for that. Barton Thor. Hello. Can you help me? You're washed out, man. What's wrong? My girl is trapped by geckos on the ridge, and I can't get to her. Please, she's going to die. Where is she? Go up the path, past the broken radio tower, and go to the right. They're at the top of the trail. All right, I'll see what I can do. You will? Thank you for helping me. Please hurry. All right. 
That's all right. Don't worry. I'll save your girlfriend. A uh, blah blah girlfriend. It's a nice little uh, camp over here. I like how it smokes a little. Does it? I thought it did. Huh. Might have been just me then. Let's see if there's anything we can take from here. I do like the fact how you can walk over these things and sort of push them about and then go cling 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 cling. That's very cool. Right, do I want to use the laser pistol or do I want to use the varmint rifle? I'll, I'll use the rifle. Maybe even the magnum. Um, DPS 20, damage 11. Damage 8, DPS 11. Ooh. Of course, the varmint rifle is better for the... Uh, hmm. Is better for uh, range. This should be fine as well. Uh, did you say up here or up here? I think up here. Oh yeah, past the radio tower, of course. Geckos. Let's see where they are. Well, uh... Oh. Okay. Ah, bloody hell. Hello, geckos. You're a bit crazy. Can I actually hit him? 26. No, that's pretty bad. Whoa! Sneak attack critical on young gecko hunter. That was... That looked horrible. Whoa! What? Does he actually, um, replenish each bullet? That would be awesome if it does. I love stuff like that. I hate it in games where you press reload and they instantly reload all of the bullets for some reason, somehow. I love it when they actually do it properly like this, even though it takes longer. Oh. This isn't very... Oh. He's a bit stuck. This isn't very, um... Accurate. Whoa! Bloody hell. Yeah, that is nice. He actually does reload each bullet. That is very cool. Let's take the Brock Flower. And let's proceed. Even though this revolver, we don't have a lot of bullets for it. And it's not in a very good condition. But that's never stopped us, did it? But yeah, what I was what I was saying, um, Bethesda was always great at making these. Whoa, bad boy, bad. Ah, you know what I don't like is that it seems to go ah, into um, iron sights by its own, and then it keeps changing where you're actually shooting. Oh crap. Um, should probably do the laser pistol. Let's do the varmint rifle right now. I should, maybe I should use the uh, um, the dynamite. How how are they not hitting me? Or are they? I don't see any blood, and I'm missing. Damn, they're going crazy, and I'm missing too much. Gecko head crippled. Damn it. They keep moving in these erratic fashions. Whoa, did you see that blood spurt out? That is pretty cool with that new mod. Uh, die. Man, they're a bit more difficult than what I remember. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> these are much more difficult than what I remember. You know what? Time for blood. Yeah. Oh, poor little guy. Mm-hmm. That's right. Anyone else? Kill enemies with guns. Stop moving. Yeah, I'm not that great with guns at the moment, so... My, uh... My accuracy is not too great. There's another one, right? Where is it? It's right over there. That's right, Gecko. <clears throat> Young Gecko Hunter. I missed Geckos. You know, there were no Geckos in the third Fallout, as far as I remember. Over here, they were. Mm. Ugh. Ugh. Ugh, yuck. Yuck. That's not good. 
Right, let's get the laser pistol out now. Oh yeah, you take a sip from the vault. Um, actually... Ah, yes, I was told that, indeed, the Vault 13 Canteen does replenish automatically. So we cannot have that. Here. Goodbye, Vault 13 Canteen, sorry. Yeah, we can't have it because it really defeats the... Um... What the hell just happened? Was that scripted? What? I don't remember that happening. What was, what was Victor doing there? What? We're back here. We're back at the start. What the hell? What? Was it a trap? What in the world happened? I have no idea. I have no clue what had happened. And that was Victor right there. Did you see that? I can't remember that happening. Before, there's a doggy there. Oh, well, we have to go there. Fortunately, we weren't that far. And, and it just shows, you know, you need to quick save in this game a lot. Or just plain save. Um, but that was bizarre. I just died instantly. I really have to check if there are any traps over there. Oh well. As I said, fortunately, yeah, didn't get too far. Is there anything in here? It looks like there's something here. Oh, hello. Swive, a swave gambler hat. Hmm. I think we already have a hat. Desperado cowboy hat. This all gives perception, yep. I like the cowboy hat. Pretty cool looking. We need to find some glasses because we have that trait. That gives us uh, extra perception. If we do have glasses. And it removes perception if we don't. But anyway, yes. Let me just finish what I was saying about... Yeah, finish travel onward. Let me just finish what I was saying about Bethesda. They do make great, um, you know, open worlds. So, I was very excited for Fallout 3, and admittedly, it was quite an enjoyable experience. Pretty bad writing, you know, not overly interested, Can you uh, not overly interesting, that much anyway. Although, I mean, having said that, I still rather enjoyed it, as I said, um, so I can't be too unfair to it. But, you know, of course, it was, it was um, one of the commenters, actually, in one of the videos... Uh, said it quite well. It suffered from Bethesda-itis. <laughs> Which is just, yeah, poor... Well, somewhat poor acting. Uh, I mean, writing and somewhat poor acting. Uh, the voice acting was really the biggest problem. I mean, it's just over and over the same voice actors. And, of course, what also shows in Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas and Oblivion. Um, you know, clunkiness. It's a bit clunky in some parts. But hey, you know, all of that aside, they do make rather enjoyable games. What the hell is that thing? I know you're here. Are you in the... He's in... No, he's up here, right? There he is. Whoa! Sneak attack critical on young Gecko. That's how we do it. We sneak critical attacks. I'm at caution. There they are. Oh, another sneak attack critical, and they didn't even spot us. Let's get that one. Not really the best pistol to be using for uh, long range. Ah. But let's do it with a fireman rifle. Hmm. There we go. Yeah, sneak uh, criticals are quite nasty in this game. And uh, very nice that they are. Because they do allow you to dispense with enemies fairly nicely. Where are they now? There's one. Ah! Ah! Come on! 
Yeah. That's that one. That one's running away, apparently. And now it's running back. I don't remember them actually getting bloody where you shoot them exactly. That's pretty awesome. But as I said, yeah, that might might have been present in the original already. I just haven't played this game in such a long time that I've forgotten half of the things. Well, more than half of the things. Let's take this Brock flower over here. Ah, trusty Vault 13. Wait a second. Did I die because I dropped the... Oh, crap! That is what why I died. Because of these traps. I see. Now, was I that low on health? 5 or 13 canteen. All right, there we go. Now, let's let's be careful. We get some XP by disarming. It is possible to trigger this bear trap without injuring yourself. Oh. I thought you Yeah, we we do get some XP for that. Um pistol laser sight. Ooh. Decreases spread at laser sight effect. Interesting. Colt 6520. What the hell is that? No idea. Merc charmer outfit. Melee weapons, guns, reading glasses, excellent. There we go. So, our perception at the moment is... Uh, let's check it. It is nine. But, with reading glasses, plus two perception. So, in essence, we're getting plus three then. That's ridiculous. Look at that, ten perception. Brilliant. Oh, that's Johnny. He has a name. What are these? Hmm. I have a feeling like I might have just broken some kind of a work of art. <laughs> yeah, we have to be careful here. Um, no, I don't want that. I want the laser pistol. Although this Colt has a lot of DPS and it uses the same ammunition. Actually, it's 10 millimeter. Is that one of the classical? Mm, it, mm, hmm. I don't remember that being in Fallout 1 and 2. Someone might probably, will probably uh, correct me, but hey, beer, Nuka cola Actually, I will take all this stuff because I need to eat and drink. Oh yeah, now when we return, I believe we'll be uh, met with, shall we say, some resistance. Sorry, Johnny died. He was your girlfriend, I guess. Hello. Sorry I tricked you, but thanks for clearing out the geckos. Now I can get to that stash up there after I deal with you. Oh, you little bastard. No, you don't. Head. Ugh. That's not very good, but let's try anyway. Whoa! Critical strike on the head. Oh! <laughs> After I deal with you, Well, it's uh, fine with me. 9mm pistol, lots of rounds, pack of cigarettes. Oh yeah, I wanted to check what the vault gives you. Melee weapons and speech. Mm, no damage resistance. Or a threshold. I'm gonna keep it for now. So, we are going to Prim. Oh yeah, I have to place down the marker again. Uh, Prim. There we go. I'm quite enjoying this, to be honest. I haven't played it in such a long time, and I didn't really have time to play it. So now, when I'm recording, you know, the Let's Play, it actually gives me an excuse to play it again. And uh, considering I have not played any of the DLCs at all, this is going to be quite, quite interesting and enjoyable. And, but most of all, really, this isn't for me, even though it is important for me to enjoy the game that I play, unless it's the Regret series, which I haven't done in a while, admittedly. Um, but most importantly, it is imperative that you, my dear viewers and subscribers, enjoy you know the videos because otherwise <laughs> if you don't enjoy them what's really the point there is no point there is no spoon there is no cake and so on and so forth oh man these these textures are so much nicer now look at that i remember these being so so smudged and low texture uh low resolution hello yeah, you guys have fun. Oh, he actually killed it rather quickly. You know, if you're if you're near enemies like this, and they don't necessarily attack you, and you're faced away running, just crouch. 
I mean, I'm not really sure why I'm giving tips on such an old game, but yeah, just, you know, in case you haven't played it and you want to, just crouch. If it says hidden, you're fine. If it says detected, you're fine. If it says caution, then they will want to attack you. Uh, of course, it has to blink red. I mean, it has to be red. Um, and if it's danger, you're already spotted and are being attacked. Who's this guy? Howdy. Howdy. You look... Howdy. Very pale for someone that goes out in the sun all the time. Oh well. Right, here is Prim, and this is actually the first area we'll, where we will have some really cool old school hey, music. Hey, you think you're going? Prim is off limits. No, it's not. Your glasses are broken or your faces. What's going on in Prim? Some convicts from the prison up the road have taken over the town. Everyone inside is either dead or in hiding. Great. And what's more, there are two tribes of raiders causing trouble in this area as well. You'd be safer heading back up to Good Springs. Shouldn't you be protecting the town or something? We'd love to, but they don't fall under NCR jurisdiction. Even if they did, we're in no shape to protect them. Why can't you protect them? We don't have the equipment to take out the convicts. And even if we did, we need some extra hands for backup. Well? You should talk to Lieutenant Hayes. He's in a tent down the road. Just stay on the west side of the overpass if you don't want to get shot. Alright, that's good. Right, let's go over here and trigger the music. And... You have discovered several locations. Yeah, we know about fast travel. Oh, wait. Music will start now. Oh, we can steal that, but... Missile? Bloody hell. Where's my music? Hmm. I was almost sure you get the old Fallout 1 slash 2 music over here. Well, anyway. I will see you next time. So thank you very much for watching. We're going to... Ah, there we go. There's the music. We're going to get that dirty water, empty syringe, purified water and stim bag. There's the music. Ah, so nostalgic. Anyway, I will see you in the next part. Bye-bye.